What has your experience been like being a black person in Israel? Dutch Nigerian, what the heck are you doing in Israel in the middle of a war zone? Enjoying life, man. I really am. Because I know wherever I go, I'm led by God. I'm coming with the spirit of the Lord. God would never steer me in the wrong place. <laughs> That's why he's all, leading All me. these Jews are coming up to talk to you to say hello. It's uh, something very interesting, man. So, me coming here, I have no worries at all. Thank you to my patrons on Patreon for funding my content. I cannot make these videos without your support and I really appreciate it. Thank you patrons, you're the best. Shalom chaverim and welcome back to another beautiful day here in Tel Aviv. I've got a special guest who's visiting us from faraway lands to Israel during a war. This is David Inzakwezi. Inzakwezi, you did said I get it right? right? You did. Hell yeah. You said it right man, that's nice. So you are Dutch Nigerian. Dutch Nigerian. Dutch yes. Nigerian. That's me. What the heck are you doing in Israel in the middle of a war zone? <laughs> Enjoying life, man. I really am. It's a beautiful country. And my brother originally came here to play basketball. So I just followed him and now I'm here. Amazing. How long have you been in Israel for? Uh, two months now. Two, two months. months. This man has two been months. here two months. He's been here during the IRGC ballistic missile attacks, Everything. the war. The, crazy and this is your first time in this country first time first, first time in the middle east also first time in the middle east dude <laughs> i've never I, been to this side I of the world i tip my hat to you that is very very impressive <laughs> i've got a full day that i'm doing on david's channel right go here. check out the video there it'll be go. linked down below in the description we're going to be trying a bunch of food i'm showing him around tel aviv today since i've been living here for a while uh so make sure you watch the full video on his channel i want to ask you a quick question before we yep. continue to the next spot what is your experience if you could summarize it real quick for everybody watching what has yeah. your experience in israel been like for this last two months Honestly, it's been amazing. It's really been amazing. I mean, I've always wanted to come here. I'm a Christian, so there's a lot of history with this place, and the people here have been amazing. I knew they were amazing, but to actually see it like IRL, it's been great. Obviously, we're in the midst of a war, but I mean, God is protecting us, is protecting this country, so. I'm blessed, man. I'm That's blessed. a beautiful message, David. David, come yes. on, let's go. Let's do it. I want to take you to try some Mizrahi Jewish food today. Okay. Again, full reviews of all the food will be on David's channel. Yes, I'm yes. not going to give you guys too much here. We're mostly going to be talking <laughs> to David about his experience. Maybe just some bits and clips. Yes, but sir. I'm a Mizrahi Jew, like I explained to you before. Mm -hmm. My family comes from different parts of the Middle East. Yeah. And I'm going to be showing you some foods that we frequent that you can find in Tel Aviv. Okay. And they're all going to be hopefully very delicious for you. I, I think Fingers so. crossed. I do the reviews as well, so. Yeah. I'm, I'm an honest reviewer. So I've really be been enjoying David's food reviews, by the way. If you guys, I've seen you try like shawarma and sabich shawarma, and all of it. Right, sabich you tried sabich recently. I tried, yes. That's also Iraqi, by the way. That's I know. Iraqi Jewish food. The guy that took me, he explained it to me. Yeah. So it was really nice. So that's one. So I don't need to. I don't need to have you try that one with me. You already got that one covered. You got it. <laughs> I'm gonna do more it. hardcore Iraqi Mizrahi food. Influencer, the owner. She's she posts content all the time. She's amazing. That's fire. All right, David, I'm taking you to eat some jachnun right now. Mm. He's having a great time. We're sitting here by the beach eating jachnun. I want to ask you a little further more about Israel and your experience here as we scarf down some delicious Mizrahi food. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> what has been the most surprising thing for you in Israel thus far? Mm. One moment. <laughs> I'm just going to keep eating while he's talking, yeah, by the way. I, that's why I enjoy my food. job. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, don't be like me. Don't talk with your mouth full. But the most, you said interesting? Yeah, what's been the most like eye-opening, surprising eye thing about being in Israel? I would say how people here like embrace life, you know? Although there's war and stuff going on, like I don't see people like on a day-to-day -day, like sad or depressed about like what's going on. Like they're so full of joy. Like it shocks me that I'm here and I'm, you know, when I first got here, I was a little worried how everything was. But the people, just the reassurance from them, they're like, you know, we have... God protecting us, like the the military is very good and just seeing people happy on the day to day, like at the beach, like just living. That's the most like interesting thing for me. And you, you said early in the video you're a Christian. I am, yes. So do you do you find it easy to like practice Christianity here, to be connected to God, to be connected to Christianity in this country? Hundred percent. Hundred percent I mean, as you know, like Jesus, like our Lord and Savior, he's from Israel, like he's from this land. So I mean, the history and just hearing about like, you know, I read the Bible and stuff and just like hearing about like, this is where King Saul died. Like, this is the 
this is the place that King David reigned and all this stuff, like hearing all these things, I'm like, wow, I'm like really living it, you know? And it's a different connection to like being here and like reading all the stories from the Bible and stuff. It's Israel, amazing. it's almost like being in Disneyland for the Bible. Right. Like Literally. you get to actually go, and I'm, I'm privileged because I grew up in and out of this place. So I've seen mm -hmm. Jerusalem and Bethlehem and all these places a million times in my life. Yeah. But even though when you remind yourself, I think most Israelis we forget, especially somebody like you helps me remind that. Mm -hmm. It's like when you come to these places and you're like, oh my God, this is crazy that I'm standing here. Totally. This is crazy that I'm seeing totally. this, that I have access to this place, you know? Right. It's right. an amazing, amazing situation. And I think a lot of people, it, it's not even that people from Israel, just anywhere, like any country you're from, you forget like the history and like the, just like so much love that you have in your country, wherever you're from, there's so much history. and. We forget it. Even me as like a Dutch person, there's so much history. And yeah, you should just embrace your country wherever you're from, man. There's love everywhere, everywhere. Bounce to Kerem et Emanim. I've brought my friend David to one of my friend's restaurants. Her name is Fanta. She has this restaurant called Balingera here by Shuka Kamel. It's an amazing place, phenomenal restaurant. Uh, we just had, she opened up a, this is the owner of the restaurant right here. She's amazing. She just opened us up an Ethiopian feast. David's Incredible. first time having Ethiopian food. Incredible. So this was a little look of like, Incredible. Jewish Ethiopian cuisine, right? Mm -hmm. Like a Jewish, uh, Jewish East African diet. What the Jews of East Africa used to eat, and obviously some of what non-Jewish Ethiopians would eat as well. Something a lot of people don't know in Israel is that we have black people or people of African heritage. Yes. I'm curious, as somebody who is black, you're a Nigerian uh, Dutch person who's traveling this country. What has your experience been like being a black person in Israel? What is that like? Because I think a lot of people have stigmas and questions. For sure. I mean. Don't believe everything you see on the internet, first of all. Second of all, I mean, my time here has been amazing. It's not been like anywhere else. Like, I've never had like someone look at me weird or make weird comments or this or that, never. Everyone just shows me love. Cause I mean, I also, I'm a big believer in if you show love, you get it back. So I mean, that's what I've been receiving and I've not had one bad thing or bad experience I've had in Israel at all. Did you, I think a lot of people may have told you things before you came here. Did you have any like feelings or fears before you came here? Like maybe how people would treat you? No, not at all, not at all. Because I know wherever I go, because I, I come with like, I'm led by God, you know? I don't come like out of nowhere. It's God just leading me in places and God would never steer me in the wrong place. So me coming here, I had no worries at all. I know God was protecting me. And no weapon formed against me shall prosper. That's what I live by. Amen, brother. Amen. I'm so happy we got a chance to share this meal as well together. Cheers. We've got more food. Cheers, lechaim. We say Hebrew. Lechaim. lechaim. In Dutch, we say prost. 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 Right. Prost. Lechaim. And we got even more food to show David, and even more parts of Tel Aviv to show David right after this. Guys, I didn't know the traveling clap like uh, was gonna try to make me gain 10 pounds because <laughs> there's a lot of food. Look at this. <laughs> Where do you think all this comes from? <laughs> it's a 10 year YouTube career. <laughs> I know, man. Hey, hey, I gotta get back in the gym still. Cause after all this food, whew. But, Lachaim. Lachaim. Taking David through a little walkthrough on my, uh, I would call this my impromptu YouTube neighborhood. Shuka Carmel. David, what do you think? I love it. It's just like home. In the Netherlands, in Den Haag, what the city I'm from, we have a city just like, we have a place just like this. It's just, the, we call it the Haagse Mart. It's literally like this. And I get my fruits and vegetables from there. Really? Like, I don't, I don't know why when I imagine Netherlands, and I've been to the Netherlands a few times, mm -hmm. I don't imagine something like this, because I always imagine it would be a little bit more cleaner, a little organized. Oh, like, no. When you go to the Haagse Mart, you see it's just like this. Really? Yeah, it's just like this. It's obviously a little more modern, but uh -huh. I mean, there's a lot of Turkish people, Moroccan people, okay. African people, so you'll see a lot of... It's got that Middle Eastern the, bazaar. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, Middle Eastern, African bazaar. Amazing. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, what is this? What is this? <laughs> He's a big YouTuber. <laughs> big. Oh, a big Who, me? Yeah. Come, come, let's talk to Yossi. <laughs> Yossi. Oi, oi. Oi. Shalom. Shalom. What's your name? Miko. Marisma. Nice to meet you. מה אתה מסתכל על המצלמה ככה? מה קרה אבא? לא, לא בלב... עכשיו הוא שולף את העניינים. הוא חייב את הגאי. דיוויד פשוט קצת רגנגנית פה בשוק. אנשים מדברים עליו. אפילו המשפט הזה אמר, מי זה הגאי? ואני אמרתי לו, זה מי דיוויד. הוא אמר, מה זה? הוא חייב? הוא חייב בסקטבול פלייר? אני אמרתי לו, זה חייב בסקטבול פלייר. הוא 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 חייב בסקטבול פלייר. ה
That's not true. <laughs> this, this owner of He's this a, shop fell in love with you while you were talking, man. <laughs> shalom, shalom. <laughs> good guy, man. <laughs> he was saying, he was saying, you seem like such a nice guy. You have a good energy. He was like, as big as this guy is, he's such a good guy. I can tell. Hey, man, that's that's why he I literally walked up to me just to tell me you're a good guy randomly. Dude, you might be Jesus. I don't know. You might no, be, the, no, you might no. be the Messiah. No, 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 no. I am not the Messiah. I don't know. I am not the you're Messiah. giving off some Messiah energy. <laughs> Jesus Christ is my Messiah. I don't know, man. You're giving off some serious Messiah energy right now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm coming with the spirit of the Lord. <laughs> That's why he's all, leading All me. these Jews are coming up to talk to you to say hello. It's uh, so very interesting, man. That's by the I'm glory looking, of God, I'm, man. I'm just looking at people. As we're walking, people are like looking at you like, who's this guy? He looks like <laughs> looks like such a nice guy. Hey, I love talking to people. Your David, are you excited? <laughs> I am, man. <laughs> this video is, for me, is culminating here. This is always my biggest, my biggest mission when I'm traveling with another YouTuber uh -huh. in Israel. It's always I want to show them this dish because this is my... This is my family's dish. When people ask me what is your favorite food in the world, Tal, this is it. Favorite food in my the world? My favorite food in the world. I grew up eating yeah. this. My grandma would make it for me, my mom would make it for me, and I make it now. It's a passed down from generation to generation. Um, what if I don't like it? It's all, It's absolutely okay. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying. It's a little strange. It's a weird dish. Then he'll be heartbroken. <laughs> so I explained to you what the dish is. I do like beet though, so. Okay, good. If you like yeah, beets, it's already a good start. So this is a beet soup, okay? It's a beet soup with sugar and lemon, so it's a little sweet, a little sour. Okay, inside you have dumplings made out of farina powder, okay. out of semolina. And inside of those dumplings, you have ground beef with like chives or celery or cilantro. There's ground beef in here? There's ground beef in there. What? So it's one of the best soups. Usually you don't eat it in the summer like this. You'll eat it when it's a little bit colder out, but you gotta try this while you're here in Israel. So let's take a taste test. Let's do it. Taste test will be on David's channel. Taste test will be on my channel, man. Tune in. Check it out. Live and direct. The boy David is in Israel. Oh, dude, this is sick. Boy, Tao is in there too. Rita's here. Rita is there. I just secured him with a Nigerian auntie so he can try fufu. So I've been, I've been, I've had fufu before. If you guys have seen my YouTube channel, my friend Success from Liberia made me fufu in the Philippines. But I've been tr wanting to try Nigerian fufu for a very long time because I keep seeing it on Instagram. And I was like, I've, I've wanted it for a long time now. And they don't really have West African restaurants in Israel. David recognized this lady, Rita, behind us. He said she's Nigerian. Randomly, just off first look. And he asked her if she actually is Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I can tell. I, I don't know. I, it's probably how y'all, like, Israeli people can tell if someone... I don't know if y'all can. Yeah, very easy. Yeah, okay. There, I have the same thing with Nigerians. I can just see and I'll be like, yep, she's Nigerian. Or if I saw her name, then I'll know she's Nigerian and what tribe. That's so, unbelievable. Yeah. Man. And now Man. hopefully we'll have some fufu with Rita. I'm, I'm really For hoping. For sure. That would be amazing. I'm super excited. Igusi soup, man. If you're trying fufu, the first one got to be igusi soup. Igusi soup. Igusi soup. Is that the sticky one? The no, one? that's okra soup. That's okra nice soup. To okay, nice to meet you. Bye. 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 Is I really have to implore you to go to David's channel right now and check out the full video. Okay, we talked about light stuff here. It's been light footwork here on this mm -hmm. channel. But his channel has been the full video. What a day. We have been blessed today with just the most... Amazing interactions of people, a beautiful sunset, history, Incredible. experiences, culture. I want to get from you real quick. Mm. As a black man visiting Israel in 2024, yes. yes, yes. what is your message to the world about Israel? Message to the world. First, don't listen to everything you see on the news. Two, come experience it for yourself and then you can judge it. But honestly, it's amazing here, man. I mean, like, look at this view. Just show them the view real quick. Like, look at this. And the people here, the blessings, everything, the history. It's amazing, man. I recommend everyone to come here. Try it, visit it, give it a chance, man. Like, it's a beautiful place, man. I promise you. <laughs> I promise y'all. This, uh, I believe so, will not be your last visit in Israel, man. <laughs> I was telling David. Uh, no, no, no. I think he's become, first of all, his name is a Hebrew name, which is a beautiful thing. He's one of us. He's part of Am Yisrael. He's David. But also, I think that you, you can become, or you probably are already through your content, an adopted son of this country. People love you. The amount of people that have stopped David on the street today through his content is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this before. People know him left and right in this country, and they love him. They have so much love to give him. Still so, so you are our adopted brother. You're our adopted son, man. My guy. You're always Appreciate welcome you, to man. Israel. And guys, go check out his content. I will see you guys in the next one. I love you a long time. Goodbye, God class. Bless.
If you believe in my content and want to support me, just know your help is needed. There's a bunch of great ways to monetarily support the channel. Some of the best ways to support me happen to be PayPal, buy me a coffee, or joining our Patreon community. Links to them can be found in the pinned comments or the description of every one of my videos. Joining my Patreon community gives you access to exclusive content and the chance to talk to me on our Discord server. I also go live almost every day here on YouTube. And after my live streams, me and my patrons from Patreon head over to our Discord server to an exclusive after-party hangout. Your support is the only way that I can keep creating the content that you love watching for me. Thank you.